Okay, this is section 3.3, second half on curvature, and this is sample problem number eight. We wanna find the curvature for this vector function, t, t squared, t cubed. I suspect this will turn out to be a lot like the previous one, but let's go ahead and check. Our prime of t is gonna equal one, two t, and three t squared. Let's quickly check its magnitude, because again, this will be the integrand if we're gonna choose to go the integral route and uh, reparameterize this. This is gonna be the square root of uh, nine t to the fourth plus four t squared plus one. Again, no common factors. Uh, this itself does not factor. And again, as a trinomial under the square root, this is gonna be a real nightmare as an integrand. We just don't have anything outside to use for use sub purposes. And that means I'm gonna abandon this reparameterization. This one's a much better one to go ahead and find the second derivative. And that's gonna be zero, two, and six t. And then we wanna go ahead and solve for curvature by taking the magnitude of r prime crossed with r double prime and dividing it by the speed cubed. Okay. Well, let's first take a look at that numerator, that cross product, r prime crossed with r double prime is gonna be i negative j k. And again, the first vector is r prime. That's one, two t and three t squared. And the second vector is our double prime, zero, two, and six t. And we wanna work out the determinant of this matrix. So my ith component, the first one is going to be 12 t squared minus six t squared. So that's gonna end up being six t squared. My middle component is gonna be negative and it's gonna be six t minus zero, so it's negative 6t. And finally, the k or the z component is gonna be two minus zero or two. Okay, so there it is, and we still have to evaluate its magnitude for the numerator up there. So let's look at the magnitude of r prime crossed with r double prime. Again, the first term is just 6t squared, so that's gonna be 36t to the fourth this will be plus 36t squared and plus four. So that will be the magnitude. That whole thing will be under the square root, which means we can factor out a factor of four. It'll be four times all three of these. Uh, four times nine is 36, so it'll be two times the square root of nine t to the fourth plus nine t squared plus one and that'll go in the numerator up here. So two square root of nine t to the fourth plus nine t squared plus one. And then the denominator is just gonna be the magnitude of uh, the uh, velocity squared. So it'll be the speed squared. Well, there's the speed right up here. So if I wanna cube that, it's just gonna be nine t to the fourth plus four t squared plus one and that whole mess to the three halves. And there we go. That is the curvature. Not a very pleasant expression, but if I knew a particular value of t, I could absolutely express the curvature. There we go.